What's up, YouTube? So today, I wanted to go ahead and show you the process of how I go about firing um, some of my commission pieces. And I just got in this horse here today, and um, usually I'll get commissions from people that want like a memorial piece. This one right here is a bonsai pot that I've made for um, a client that has a horse. They also have a bonsai farm, so of course it would only make sense to use some horse hair, make a bonsai pot, and then uh, put it all together. So I'm going to show you how I do it, and I hope you enjoy the process. What's up guys? So I put the pottery in the oven. It's been in there for about maybe like an hour and a half, getting close to two hours. Um, there's still two pots that are pretty, pretty wet. They haven't gotten bone dry yet. <laughs> but I wanna kinda get some of this, um, some of these other pots done during daylight. So I'm gonna go ahead, warm this up. Go ahead and start a fire. Um, put some fuel in here and get it ready for the pot. So, check it out.
Well, the biggest bowl that I made, it popped. And another one broke too. But it was like a, kind of like a planter pot. So that one broke too. And I'll probably put some clips in there with the sounds that it makes when it pops. But uh, yeah, that sucks. I really like that bowl. Um, I think the only thing that I did wrong with that is I didn't let it dry long enough. Even with it being in the oven and stuff, um, I think it just needs to dry out naturally within like a couple of weeks, especially because it's colder right now. So, live and learn. The bigger the pieces, the longer they have to dry. I haven't made a piece that big before, so that sucks. That my first piece that I've made that big. That's the biggest bowl I've ever made. Um, had to pop. But at least the bonsai pot has a pop. And I think it's going to make it all the way through. I don't want to, fingers crossed, I don't want to jinx it yet. But I think the bonsai pot is going to make it through. And I think, uh, think my client's going to be really happy. I'm coming through, they wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit. Yeah, I put that on mamas. They trying to block all my blessings. They thought I lost the stepping. I bet on me and my team. ISO is what I'm rapping. Put on for the whole city. Yeah, I got this out. This thing. This pot is beautiful. Mm. Actually, kind of sad to see this one go. Mm. One of the coolest things I like about this is this right here. It's almost like a flame. When I took this out, um, which I'll sh I'll show you. I think I got a, a clip of it. When I took this out, there's this glowing, glowing like red molten part right here 
and it seemed like this captured the tip of a flame or something. I mean, it looks like it's just engraved into the pot. And these horsehair, these horsehair markings couldn't have came out better. Nice, bold, strong lines. Man, it just looks, just looks so cool. Sounds good, sounds intact. Everything about it just uh, looks good. It was done during the full moon. I really enjoyed making this piece. If the customer doesn't like it, I'll be glad.